story. 855-407-282. San Francisco, Freddie calling from ground zero of evil. Freddie, tell us your story, please. Well, you know, I walk every day for my exercise because my mom was a ballet dancer in the suburbs in Daly City, California. And I walk without a mask. I'm not going to walk with a mask. And now everybody's got a mask except for me. So they go on the other side of the street. Good, good. Well, it's a good way to avoid the, the toxins of liberalism. Yeah, no, I know. See, now you won't have to breathe in their air and you won't get infected with the liberal virus. No, I tell them, but they look at me like I'm a monster, but they won't say anything to me because I collect money for a living. And the way I look, they're not even going to say a word. <laughs> oh, oh you're, you're a collector from the old school, huh? Yeah, my father was in the movies and my mother was a dancer and she was 30 years younger. And they Ooh, made- sounds like a hot marriage. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you this, so you remember what I'm saying, because my mother wanted me to tell you this for years, but she died, so I'm going to tell you. I was brought up to always say the peasant Avanti got their hands in our pockets. Well, they got, our hand, they got their hands in our pockets now. The peasant Avanti, the politicians, worth a dollar ninety. Right out of the Godfather, the peasant Avanti, right, the 90 caliber ones. Yeah, that's it, you have it. So, listen, she, she listened to you for a million years. Oh. I, to you. I came from a very independent family. Just keep doing what you're doing because you're more brilliant than anybody else I listen Freddie, to. Freddie, how, how old was your mom when she went to heaven? Wait, say that again. How old was your mom when she went to heaven? If I tell you that, Dr. Savage, she'll kill us both. What, is she still living? A beautiful ballet dancer, and she would never tell us our age. So just let's say she was 69, but she was a lot older, but she wouldn't admit it and she didn't look it. But did she pa- has she passed away, Freddie? Yeah, she passed away. She passed away six years ago. Well, it's a loss. My mom passed in, in the God. I never forgot that. I used, you know that some days to this day, after all the years, I want to pick up the phone and call her. Yeah, I want to call her too. When I get the, when, you know when you get the phone call from the blank call, I always think it's her saying hello. You know, you it's pick sad. It's up. sad. No, we never ever forget our parents. Nor should we. By the way. No, my parents were great. Listen, I never needed a birthday present or a Christmas present because I got my parents and I got the life I got. Well, Freddie, keep on not wearing that mask and let those who look at you the wrong way uh, do what they have to do. Okay, they'll run down the street if I say anything to them. So you keep doing what you're doing. (laughs) Freddie sounds like my kind of guy. (laughs) I give everyone a New York cheer if they look at me the wrong way. You know, size doesn't really matter. What matters is attitude. Let me tell you that. And so don't don't be intimidated by these nannies, these ninny state nannies. Eh, let them screw themselves. But uh, where are we going to go from here with the money being printed? Who's stealing the money? As the man just said, someone's getting the money. Now, if you think I am alone on the fear of what's coming in this country from this out of control spending. And, you know, you can blame the Democrats and liberals all you want. I'm sorry. Donald Trump needs to stop this right now. Here is 